Brennan! Yeah. Mr. Senior Week! Today is Katie Elizabeth's birthday. All right, Brennan's coming home from Beach Week today. How'd it go? We miss you dearly, love. Division one. Look at him next time. That's right, Kate. Over the wall, into the kill the king. Exactly. <laughs> you know, there might not be a bunch of truth to that. Everybody and happy Friday. Today is Katie Elizabeth's birthday. She turned 17 today. If you haven't seen the vlog from two days ago or yesterday, check it out. You can see her new birthday gift. See how she's celebrating her birthday. She's at the beach right now. So maybe you'll see some of that in the vlog today. But um, I woke up this morning to some sort of um, Devastating. No, I can't say it's devastating because we don't know yet, but um, I woke up this morning to Alice, our little kitty, not feeling well. I noticed something was wrong yesterday when she was laying around. She didn't go outside. She wasn't very energetic. And when I picked her up, she let out this crazy meow and jumped down as if something was hurting her. I tried it twice and that happened and then she didn't eat. She hasn't been cleaning herself. So... I, first thing this morning, tried to make an appointment at the vet and they can't get us until 5.30, so I've gotta wait all day and then um, take her over. We're supposed to be going to Florida on Sunday, um, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do, how we're gonna handle that. Um, hopefully she's okay, but she has the same symptoms that Millie had, and if you guys know Millie, Millie's our sweet little kitty. We had her very, very first kitty. And she passed away of FIP, which is a kitty disease. So anyway, I'm holding um, out hope that Alice is just, has a cold or something. I don't know. I don't know much about what could be wrong with her other than what I've seen before. She's my little buddy. She sits on my shoulder. She's my little, my little sweet pea. So um, she's, take, she's resting now. She's been sleeping on Katie's bed about 12 hours now and um, she hasn't moved I mean she's moved positions but um, she hasn't gotten up so Edward's up there sleeping with her right now laying with her he just got in he was outside having a good time and he took a bath ate some ate some breakfast and then jumped up with her so anyway I hope she's gonna be okay so you can come to the vet with us and see what happens I hope you guys are having a good day Here's my sweet peas. Here's little Alice. She's just been sleeping, sleeping and sleeping. And there's Edward, he jumped up to sleep with Alice. In Katie's bed while she's gone. Be a good baby girl. Feel better. Good morning, everybody. Big day today. Very big day. Today is Saturday, and Michael John is packed up. Wait, let me turn this around so you guys can see. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> there's a lot I'm of not stuff. sure there's room for the driver. <laughs> I hope that we'll see where Michael's sitting. Okay, you guys, this is the inside of the car. He is driving down to Florida, and we have this CRV, this Honda CRV. So it's not a minivan, but boy, it fits a lot of stuff. We have a mirror. We have a mattress, we have linens, all the sort of stuff, hopefully, not all the stuff to get us ready, but all this stuff is meant to start to get us ready to move into Florida. We brought some food, we brought some pillows, Katie's inspiration pillows for her bedroom. Mattress. mattress. Yeah. What's that? Oh, air mattress. Clothes, Clothes food. Oh, our utensil thing we bought for our hall. TV mount. TV mount, right? For when we get there in the TV. Thank you. Okay, very good. So where are you going to put it? In the garage? In one spot. I like that, Michael. Thank you. Let me see over here. Hopefully I'll open this and won't fall apart. Oh yeah, Katie's hanging chair. We're bringing that down from her room. Mike's suitcase, bread, <laughs> a level. Oh my gosh. This is very, very exciting. All right, Michael John. 
You able to fit? Yeah? I think so, like at a little spot. I'm not gonna be able to do any kind of nerve Yeah, so be especially careful. Yes. It's gonna be a long drive. He's gonna drive, start to go today. We're gonna go to Katie's pole vault meet and then see him there. Bye, I love you. I love you too. Have a great trip. Thanks. Stay in touch with us, okay? All ready to go for when you get there. I love it. Yes. Bye, baby. There's my little girl. Hi, Monique. There she is. Oh. There she is. Yesterday, Alice was not feeling well at all, so we brought her to the vet, and they did some tests and determined that she had a fever of unknown origin. So we're just feeding, we're treating her for that to bring her back in today to get her, <laughs> hi, to get her um, temperature checked again. So let's take her and make sure she's doing. Look, Alice's temperature, and it is perfect. She's feeling so much better now too. Meowing and moving around. That's my big girl. Sweet pea. So she has to take some antibiotics. Can you see her little eyes in there? She's so cute. She has to take some antibiotics for the next six days and she is good to go. Hey. Get over there with me now. What's going on, peeps? We are headed to Katie's pole vault meet. Let's go. For her club competition. If you don't know what pole vault is, um, Katie is going to use a pole to jump over another pole that is held up by two poles. So. A lot of poles. One, two, three, four poles. Four poles. Yes. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. You know what's uh, funny? I always think about, when I think about sports, I always think about sort of the origins of them, how they all started. And right. of course, like running is like one of the original right. sports, right? right? Wrestling, original sport, boxing. Original like sport. Discus, like discus. the Romans were like, "Hey yo, how far can you throw this stone?" And they're like, "Oh," and they're like, "No, I can throw it farther." And then they had a sport. But Golf, okay, yeah, so like, discus probably started down with like throwing things at people, like for yeah. survival, right? Yeah, yeah. Golf. Golf. Very total leisure. Well, then, so that makes me think of pole vault. I bet pole vault is a pretty primitive sport. Really? If they had to get over something. Like Why? Get, Where would they find that bendy of a stick? That's a good point. Raise a good point. But yes, when they so if you ever see like when pole vaulters run, it always reminds me of like little Romans with like spears like attacking someplace. Me too. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they had to pole vault catapult over the wall, over the wall into and kill the king. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So maybe we should look up the history of pole vault. If you guys want to look that up, history of pole vault, comment down below. What's what it's all about? Is it for sport? Uh huh. But I always think of pole vault like as I mean, dad is a wrestler. Dip, very primitive sport. We don't have any boxers in the family. Yeah. No. <coughs> Some runners. <Virgins. coughs> oh, um, there you go. Falls. I'm gonna look it up for you guys because I'm nice. <laughs> That's very kind of you. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan is, Ryan is um, taking your work away from you. Yes. The origins of modern vaulting can be traced back to Germany in the 1850s when the sport was adopted by a gymnastics association and and in the Lake District region of England. Ah, nice. This not English. Yeah. Um, or co contestants were held of ash or hickory poles with iron spikes in the end. Ah, so they stuck it in the ground. Ah, yeah, sure. Uh, first recorded bamboo pole was in 1857. There you are. There you have it. So it's not... I'm still... I mean, it's not a I'll still use the... Like, when I write my book about pole vaulting, I'll st <laughs> it'll still be called pole vaulting, the sport that ended the Roman Empire. Right, exactly. But, um, <laughs> yeah. You know, there might not be a bunch of truth to that. I'm still going to It's probably just that, not though. recorded in history. It's, it's just, just not recorded. recorded. Yeah, they just... I think it's up for exactly. you to... It's just lost in history. Put those pieces together, Ryan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, golf was started in like the 1400s. Really? By the French. Oh, the no, Scottish. Scot no, sorry, Scottish. Scottish, 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 Scottish. Whoa, whoa, St. Andrews and everything. I didn't even know how I got the French in there. I'm sorry, sorry. I know golf is going on. The French and the Scottish aren't even, they're not even close to it. Like, yeah. They're, they're a little they close. like each other. They're a little, they're a little close. A little close? Man. So, okay, yeah, exactly. When right, you think so of go, French, come on, how does your mind not go straight to Scottish? <laughs> right, it does. It's, I mean, they're forever connected. Yeah, anyhow. All right, Brennan's coming home.
from Beach Week today, Senior Beach Week. I just talked with him. He and they are on the road, and I um, he I asked him he successfully made it through Beach Week without getting arrested. So that's good. That's big. That's good. Not not many I didn't expect done that to, I didn't expect him to get arrested. I did not. You did? Yes. But the, as a parent, you gotta ask. Right. So he said he's tan. Had a great time. He's tired though and ready to come home. Yep. And ready to have him home. Yep. Yep. That was a little precursor, I guess, to college in terms of the, the amount of time gone. Just a yeah. week, and I'm, I'm looking forward to going home, so I don't know Aww. how whole semester's going to be. Ah. You might just take, like, weekly trips down to Florida State. That's not a bad idea. So some of you guys have been asking if we bought the condo to be near Brennan. Um, It's a nice bonus, though. Be in Tallahassee. <laughs> right. We're about three or four hours away. Yeah. So but, it's not really that close. Yeah. So, no, we actually try to get as far away as Brennan as possible. Yeah, we I knew we wanted to be in true. Florida, but we're like, oh, Brennan's there now. So we're like, oh, how can uh, we get away from him? And we're like, Florida's a pretty long state. Let's just go three or four hours away. Perfect. If he went to the University of Florida, which he was just hiding between, remember Then we'd that? buy a, a condo in Tallahassee. No! a lot closer to him with this condo if he went to the University of Florida. Correct, yes. Um, but he did not choose that. He chose the standard Florida State. He's now a Seminole. Now a Seminole. Go to Olds, baby. Go to this, Olds. by the way, look my hat. This is my new favorite hat. That's I'm a great hat. You look great in it. Thank you. I'm not even a diehard Seminoles fan yet. You love uh, them. I will be until I go to Florida and then I'm done. I'm Gators fan. And then fan. you're a Gators fan. Um, with my boy Zach. Shout out to Zach. So I like the hat though. Too, so it is amazing. Hat. We'll see. We could talk for hours. We'll I see. know. We'll see. Yeah. we'll see you when Katie plays the sport that ended the Roman Empire by using a pole to launch a pole that is followed by two poles. See you there. That was the best ball thing I've ever seen you do. We also have from Don't High Point like University, Sydney Horn. It's okay. That's okay. I was going to say it's anyway. Oh, all right. Division one we'll athlete. Next time. That's right, Kay. Yeah. We'll get him next time. All right, well, that was Katie's meet. Short and sweet. It's called no heighted. When you go and you jump and you don't make it three times, it's no heighted. And normally, like, she would jump and then like make it, not make it, whatever, but make it in one of three tries and then move to the next level and the next level and the next level. Then you always end on a no height because you try three times to make it the highest height. But anyway, she no heighted on her first one in. Okay, it happens. Sure it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes you are, yeah, sometimes you're not. And sure that's you're just how it goes. Huh? Sure, sure you're It's sure. okay, Kate, hang in there. It's all right, they'll be. This, this is just OTAs. What's that mean? Like a training camp. Like yeah, yeah, for yeah. Football. So Ryan's never been to Washington D.C. He claims, or doesn't remember being to Washington. I don't D. remember. Well, I've so been to I've been to a Caps game. game. I've been to a Nationals game. I but I, I don't think we ever got to the National Mall. Okay, so we're gonna go and see the Ryan National Mall. So yeah, I asked her, and she said yes. So let's do it. Of course we can. Let's, let's do it. it. Let's do it. Brennan, do Mr. Senior Week. Don't call me Mr. Senior. 
No? How'd it go? We missed you dearly, love. Mr. Golfer Boy. So Mr. Drive Ship and Putt. Aww. Is that what, you, what we're going to call him? Yeah. And Katie's Mrs. Right. Pole Vault. That's right. And you're Mr. Senior. And Mrs. Jeep. That's right. That's right. Oh, it's so good to see you. All right, let's get your junk and put it in. That's all you have? I uh, know. Little car. A lot of junk. Uh -huh. All right, you guys, we are ending our night tonight by watching the Olympic trials. It's so cool. It's, we just watched the 10,000 meter. The girls running the 10,000 meter. I didn't even know the 10,000 was a thing. Yeah, right? Kate, what made you happy today, baby girl? Um, wow. Okay, let me go to Ryan. No, actually, hanging out with um, my friends at uh, my friend's graduation party was fun. It was fun? Okay, yeah. good. Good, good, good. Yeah, and um, having you guys, thanks for coming to my meet. You're welcome. Sorry that I did really bad. But I'm glad that Ryan's like been to a meet that I did well. Right, all right. Yeah, so yeah. he knows. Yeah, I'm in tune until you did well. I cannot wait for the Beijing Winter Olympics. Why? Because I love watching the Winter Olympics. Uh, yeah, the Winter Olympics might it's be so fun much to cooler. Watch it, uh, oh my gosh, you guys, comment down below. Do you like the Winter Olympics better or the Summer Olympics? Yeah, it's huge, it's like snowboard jumping. I like the I like this I like the Summer Olympics better. All right, baby, comment. Yeah, or, what, what made you happy today? You. <gasps> Being in the car with you, spending the whole day with you, so much fun. Um, and seeing DC. Mom. Yes, driving it's through DC. Amazing. That was too. Totally amazing. We did. we did. Right after your meet, we drove around through DC. Saw the ultimate symbol of freedom and democracy, Capitol building. What made me happy today was being with you. Thank I totally you. agree. Like, and then we decided that we were going to get popcorn and Rolos and watch a movie. So we're going to watch Cool Runnings exactly. in the spirit of the Olympic trials. Olympics. If you guys have not seen Cool Runnings, you gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do that. Katie's with us now. Brendan is sleeping over at his friend's house tomorrow morning. De Mike just made it to Florida. Tomorrow morning, we fly out to Florida. Florida, baby. You know what else made me really, really, really happy today, too? What's up? Is the fact that Alice is better. We went in and got Alice. her temperature again. Let's she go. is better. It just makes me so Let's happy, go. sweet yeah, girl. Yeah, no, that is, that is good. Yeah. All right, you guys, so comment down below, below what made you guys happy today. Also, comment down below if you're a winter or a summer Olympics, Olympics person. And, um... See you tomorrow. Yeah. Stay tuned, though. I have a lot of vlogs for you in Florida. Florida! Florida vlogs are going to be awesome. I'm if so excited. If you're a mom like me and you love watching HGTV <laughs> house renovations, trust me. Watch. You, you'll want to watch these next couple of vlogs coming up. Exactly. Yeah. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.